guys. Sorry we couldn't get the takedown. He just slammed it. Yeah. Huh? Oh, did it come off? No. What the heck? I can't keep up with it. Guys, we have not been here for five minutes. Wait, then let's anchor rope. It came out. Flathead. Not that big. That was crazy. I mean, we've been here for, we just got the rods out. I was like, Ryan, I got to film an intro. Got him. And we got slammed. He slammed the heck out of it. Yeah. I mean, it was peel and drag, guys. Peel and drag. Well, this is a flathead spot. Just come on up. Oh, dang. He's pushing 30. Holy crap. Good first fish. Yeah. I mean, we just got out here. That's crazy. We, we've had all the rods out for five minutes. Like, I was sick. He slammed the heck out of it. He did. Obliterated it. Got that mag catter right in the corner of his mouth. Flatheads in this creek, apparently. <laughs> new creek, new spot. Never fished here before. Looked at it on the map and said, mm, that one's good. Here we are. I'm going to see what this guy weighs. He's an angry elf. I'm guessing he's mid to upper 20s. Can't see it. Start moving. What is he? He's 20. 20. 26, 27, something like that. Not bad first fish. Not bad. That one just got hit, y'all. Same one we just threw back out. I don't know if he's still there or not. I would reel a little bit, just see. I don't know. No, he put, he put it down. That was crazy. Same one we just threw out there. I don't know. That was weird. We're kind of moving right now. No. Wacky. Well, good afternoon or night, you guys. It is mid-April here in East Tennessee, and we are back in a creek fishing for flatheads. No way, no way, no way. No way. Yeah, there's one in the middle. Yep, that's on. We are catching flatheads. You got it? Real quick. Got him. Got him. Big Got fish. Him. Well, okay, they're on this uh, rock pile. You think you can get that bait clicker off? And, uh, well, we are fishing a rock pile back in a creek. We're sitting in five feet of water, casting up into two or three. We've been here less than 10 minutes. Uh, caught one 26 pound flathead, lost one immediately after that. Recasted baits up closer to the rock pile, and uh, uh, now we've got whatever this is on. Look at the colorations oh, on that goodness. flathead. The fleck tarn flathead. The fleck tarn flathead. And we are catching flatheads, you guys. All right, which one is he in? Okay, he's in this green one right here. I'm gonna have to walk on back, I think. You gonna be able to get him? He about broke. <laughs> that would have broken any other rod. Big cat fever, baby. Look at these camouflage. Look at that. That is the coolest. I can't wait to get this guy on the boat. Mean. Feisty little critter. This one's 10 to 12, looks like. Grab, grab your bogus there. Just boga grip them in. Look at the colors on them. Look at that. Sick. Well, let's see. Oh, oh, almost got a ball shot. He's mean. What's he at there? 
1820. he is 1820, something like that. All right, let's get let's get a video of his colors on him. That is a beautiful flathead. The flat-tarn flathead. Yeah, I mean, look look at the colors on that thing. So cool. All right, well, there's Brian's gorgeous flathead. Beautiful Amazing. colors on him. Look at the colors on that thing. Looks like tar and flathead. Looks like tar and flathead. Nom, nom, nom. All right, we're going to let him go and try to film an intro now. All right. There's current coming out of this creek. So we're set up on the front end of this rock pile. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Feisty fella. Again. Hey, this one, we just put that flathead yeah, back. Hand off, hand off. Yeah. Good. This may have some weight to it. I think it's tangled again. Possibly. It definitely is. This one's just kind of doing what he wants to do right now. He's 100% caught in that other green one. Yep. Oh, the bad. I might be able to save it. Hold on. You set the phone down. He's about to go on. Nope. Yep, grab this and cut it. He's a big daddy. You in this? You're in all these, aren't you? No, I think he went over. Okay, well we're back. We got this out. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Oh gosh, lots of drag. Lots of drag. This is a big daddy. This is a big daddy. Please stay on. I got my drag back off just a little bit. Back in here. Do we're going back the other way now? Yeah, he's just going left to right. He's just doing whatever. He's just doing whatever he wants with you. Yeah. Getting close here? Motor. He's just ripping line. Look at this. Mark's fighting him like a champ. Yeah. He's done six rods changes <laughs> now. I mean, this thing's taking me. He's oh, he's swimming in circles around the boat. This is a big fish. There he is. Oh, Mark, that's good. Big flathead. Big flathead. Big flathead, baby. He's got this heavy big cat fever just bowed over. He's still taking line. Oh my gosh. This is big. Oh, this is big. Got him. Got him. Oh Got my him. God. Got him. Yeah! <laughs> Way to go, Brian. We've been here 20 minutes now. I don't know. Dude, that's good. We throw a rod out, boom, gone. Dude, that's good. Woo! <laughs> Way to fight, dude. Oh, my gosh. Dude, Way I, to fight. I went up and over every... I went around 10 rods and got him out of all of them. Oh, thank you, Brian. Excellent camera work. Perfect net job. That's beautiful. Beautiful teamwork there. That one's over 40. Yeah, for sure. A beer is in order tonight. <laughs> okay. I'll try to take him up in. Take, take your net here. I'll hop up here. Oh, brother. This is big. I think he's 50. I think he's... I don't know. He's big. Yep, yeah, he's 50. Or close. Oh, my God. There he's fifties. He's short and fat. Hallelujah! It's Bloodhead Creek Island Rock Pile. Yes. We ha we haven't been here for twenty minutes.
Not like not even since the, an anchor hit the water <laughs> has it been 20 minutes. This is nuts. Well, I'm gonna get our rods repositioned. I'll join y'all back here in a second. Well, I don't know, you guys. I'm thinking 40 for show. I don't know if he's gonna hit 50. He's right. pretty dang big. He's oh god. Ready? Pull it up. Real quick, one more time. He is 40. It's like 48 to 50, somewhere in there. Oh, solid fish. All right, guys, here's a, a 48, 50 pound flathead somewhere in there. Monster, monster. Home waters, baby. That's how we do it. Top knocks fishing. No bitching, just fishing. Big giant flatheads. He's got some cool colors on him, man. Beautiful fish. All right, we're gonna release him. Here's my phone. Don't hold over the water. Okay. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> I love it. Top knocks fishing, baby. Now let's see this time. Just, just about every time. We'll every just... times in a row we had that happen. But okay. that big 50 pounder could have riled all the little ones out a little bit. <laughs> Alright. He, he drove us around the whole lake. I mean like spun the boat around. Like I went around every single daggum rod I got. But we got him in. Alright let's get baits back out. So there's no wind right now. And we're in this creek. And you can watch these leaves moving left to right. You can see them. That is current back in this little creek. And these flatheads are in here, baby. We picked the right time. We had a ton of rain this week. It was 80-something degrees today, muggy. This water stain back in here, and that's the recipe that's for good stain. shallow water flatheads. It's you gotta have that stained water. But it's not clear. Nope, you don't want the clear water. You want stained. Even muddy is good, it's fine. And they in here, baby. Going on right here, heat reeling, I think he's on it. He may have come off. Nope, there he is. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Get that hook in him. You got it? Okay, pull him out. Coming at, me. Coming at you. We literally just released that fish. I think another one of these just got dinked. Whew, this is crazy. This is crazy, you guys. I mean, legitimately crazy. That's a blue. I think that's a blue. It's a blue. 20 pound blue. Okay. One of these got bonked while we were sitting here. I don't know which one it was. All right. Well. Here, let me see. It. Go ahead and bring him to me. Quit it. Ow. 100 pound leader. Get in the boat. There we go. All right, we gotta get another rod back on the rock pile. We'll be back with that guy. He's probably 18, I don't know, something. Come on, another rod gonna go down? Huh, 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 huh? Another rod, another rod, another rod? What's up, brothers? What's up, brother? I was gonna show you here what we're, we're using for bait. About the size we're using, fresh skipjack. I mean, we caught these 30 minutes before dark. Ran up here. About the size of your palm. Yeah, just a, a big, big glob. We've got double baits out and stuff, but they haven't hit that yet. Surprisingly. No heads, it's just all been chunks. It's been the skinny chunks too. Yeah. We're gonna get them back out, baby. Big cat fever, heavy action rods, Okumo Komodo reels, let's go. He's just gonna send that one out into the channel. Out there, there we go, baby. Got him. Rock piles back there. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can kind of see it. And it, we're probably sitting in five to six, I'd say. And then that thing comes up out of the water and it's just like an, uh, just a giant rock pile out there. And then we're next to this island too. I don't know if you can see that. But we're next to an island, rock pile, flathead catfish. Blue catfish. I forgot about the blue catfish. No way. We're going to call it 16 to 18 pound blue. Little not blue, bad. Blue. Well, we got four flats and one blue. Yep. In 30 minutes, pretty good. See ya. All right. All right, so I'm using the red light to film this thing because I forgot to film an intro before dark, and every single time I try to film an intro, 
a big fish slams our rod. So not bad. We're going to try this quick. We're uh, here in Knoxville fishing for flatheads up shallow, back in creeks, five to six feet deep, casting in two to three on a rock pile back in a creek. The creek's got uh, mud, muddy water all the way in the back of it and a current coming out of it. And we are way back in it targeting these um, active flatheads feeding here at night, right after dusk, uh, chasing uh, whatever they're chasing back in here, but they're eating cut skipjack. Um, we were trying to bring some live white bass in here, but we couldn't catch any. We caught some fresh skits, and we're like, all right, we'll go try it. And it's working. Um, so I'll kind of show you where we're at on the graph a little bit, and uh, we're going to get back to fishing. So as you can tell, it's poopy shallow. Here's this island, big creek system coming in, and then there's this rock pile right here. It comes all the way out of the water, and those fish are on this rock pile feeding. And this current's coming from the back of this creek out this way, and our cut bait scent is hitting this rock pile and they're feeding. All of our fish will come off on this side. We've got them thrown around over here too. Nothing here yet, but you never know. They could move around on top of this point from this island and come in. But we're, we're waiting here ready to ambush them. He's gotta be on that. Reel down on him. Come on. Dang. Reel all the way up anyways. Oh, he just lost one. That had to happen at least once. Came off to the right hand side this time. Did not lose him. He's on there. He just came right at the boat. Oh gosh. That's gonna be a mess, bro. Is it a dang blue? <laughs> He's all in that rod. That's another 20 pest plan blue. What a butthole. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as you think. You can probably just cut the line on your rod at the at the not at the swivel and all that other line will come out. Very nice. Don't lay him on the battery. Bring him back. Bring him back. Don't drop the rod in the water. <laughs> Ryan's new here. He's probably 16, 17. Not bad. Goons out, goons out. Crazy how much current's back in this little creek. There's you some perspective. The rod. There's that fish. Let's see him. They may be close to 20. Alright, throw them back. See ya. Nice. What a hell of a night, bro. We got the tangle out at least. We're out of uh, skipjack, so channel cat it is. 